In this video, we're going to take a look at parallel and perpendicular lines, specifically lines that are in standard form. And if you understand how standard form operates and you're comfortable with slope, you're actually going to find that these problems are a little bit easier if you understand how slope works with standard form. Let me show you what I mean here. So first of all, standard form uh, we know is AX plus BY equals C, and A, B, and C must all be integers. Anytime we have a fraction, we want to multiply through by the least common denominator. But one thing we can do is we can take this general case and solve it for y here, which I've already done. I started by moving ax to the other side by subtracting it, and you divide everything by b. And now we have it in slope-intercept form, and this is interesting because now we have formulas for both the slope and the y-intercept. And it's this piece, the opposite of a over b, that's really going to help us as we do these problems. So to summarize here, we now have a slope if we're in standard form. The slope of a line in standard form is the opposite of a over b. And you also have a formula for y-intercept that we're really not going to use too much, but it does exist that c over b is also the, um, uh, the, the y-intercept. But it's really this one here, the slope formula, that's going to help us. So a little practice before we dive into parallel and perpendicular lines. So we're going to find the slope of the three uh, equations you see in standard form here. This first one, 2x plus 5y equals 7. Well, all we need to find the slope is a, which is positive 2, and y, which is positive 5, put those in a fraction, we take the opposite, we know the slope of that line will be negative 2 fifths. And you can verify that by turning it into slope-intercept form if you like, and you can see that, uh, that this is true here. In this second one, we have a is 1, positive 1, b is negative 4, so we have 1 over negative 4, we want the opposite of that, so the slope of that second line is 1 fourth. But this third one, we have an a of 3, a b of 1, implied 1 here, 3 over 1, we want the opposite, the slope of that line is negative 3. So you don't have to convert to slope-intercept form all the time if you understand the opposite of a over b. So how can you use that in problems dealing with parallel and perpendiculars? So we have find the equation of a line parallel to 3x plus 5y equals 2, and we want it to pass through this point, negative 1, 4. And what we need to do these problems uh, is the rule that parallel lines have equal slope. We know that from the past. Now here's what we don't need to do. We don't need to take 3x plus 5y equals 2 and turn it into slope-intercept form and then convert back afterwards. If we understand how 3x plus 5y equals 2 works and that parallel lines, parallel lines have equal slope, we can actually do this a little bit niftier of fashion here. Well, we know we're going to need a slope of 3 over 5, the opposite of that, negative 3 fifths. And if we just think, well, what do we need in standard form to get a slope of negative 3 fifths? Well, wait a minute. That's just 3x plus 5y. The beginning part, the left-hand side of this equation in standard form and the left-hand side of this equation in standard form will be the same because that's where the a and the b are, and they are parallel lines, and they have the same a and b. So if we had 3x plus 5y before, we'll have 3x plus 5y again. The only thing we don't know is we don't know what c is. Well, we can find c by using the point here, negative 1, 4, I have 3 times negative 1, plus 5 times 4, do a little math, that comes out as uh, 17, that equals C, so I find the equation of the line is 3x plus 5y equals 17, and 3x plus 5y equals 17 is parallel to the line at the beginning of the problem and goes through the point that we were given. So you notice 3x plus 5y being the same in both of them because they're parallel lines is really what made this all work. Let's do one with a perpendicular. Let's find the equation of a line perpendicular to 3x minus 4y equals 1, and it has to pass through 1, negative 2. And remember the fact from earlier that perpendicular lines, they have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. Let's take a look at our beginning line here. What is its slope? I have a 3 over negative 4. I want the, uh, the opposite of that, so the slope of that line is 3 fourths. Well, the slope of my new line will have an opposite reciprocal slope negative four-thirds. And you need to ask yourself, ax plus by equals c, what would need to be in the a and the b position in order for me to get negative four-thirds as the slope? Well, if you think about it a little bit, we can have a 4x, we can have 3y here, and 4x plus 3y will do the trick. Because think about it, we'd have 4 over 3, the opposite of that would give me my negative four-thirds. And notice how that relates to the original equation here. We had 3x minus 4y before. Now we have 4x plus 3y. You really just switch the a and the b, and we switch the sign. Switching the position of the a and the b takes care of the reciprocal part, 
and switching the sign takes care of the opposite part. So if we understand how uh, standard form works, this is actually a little bit easier than converting into slope intercept form. E equals C, we do have to find C. So we'll do 4 times 1 plus 3 times negative 2. That will be C. So we get 4 plus negative 6, that equals, oops, that equals negative 2. And the equation of the line I'm looking for as I run out of space is 4x plus 3y equals negative 2. And you notice how this relates to the original equation. And they are perpendicular to each other. So standard form isn't so scary. You don't need to convert to slope-intercept form all the time if you understand how slope if you understand how standard form works.